Hello, Ben here, Amateur Call Sign M7 FRS. And if you're new into ham radio or you just want a no frills handheld that you can chuck in your bag and take anywhere, then the Bofang BFA 58S might be the one for you. So the BFA 58S is another handheld that's been sent to me uh, courtesy of Banggood for, uh, for review. And uh, it's a tri-band um, transceiver, so it'll, it'll transmit and receive on 2 meters, 1.25 meter band and the 70 centimeter band as well um, initially, but I mean it's got quite a big uh, transmit range other than that, it'll actually transmit from 137 to 174 megahertz and 200 to 260 megahertz on VHF as well as uh, 400 to uh, 520 megs on uh, on UHF and we'll uh, we'll try the power outputs on this because it claims to be an 8 watt transceiver but uh, I doubt it's actually going to get to 8 watts but we'll try that out shortly but like I said in the intro if you just want uh, no frills go anywhere chuck in your bag take out on the water or take out on a mountain whatever and you don't want to worry about losing it this is probably uh, a good little radio to go for save you losing your uh, your expensive handheld uh, these are currently retailing at about uh, 17 pounds of uh, uh, in our money in in Great Britain here or I think 22 US dollars or 20 euros so um, yeah quite a uh, inexpensive like I say almost disposable handheld if you like uh, it's got 128 channels uh, it's IP68 uh, dust and water resistant so like I say you can you can take it out in the uh, in the in the weather and it's not going to uh, succumb to uh, too much damage and I say even if you do break or lose it you're not losing too much money anyway as always I've spared you the unboxing video uh, so we'll have a look at what it actually comes with obviously you get the little drop-in desk charger as well as a, uh, uh, a power power cord to, uh, to plug it in with a euro type um, uh, plug on there with a little illuminated LED for when it's on charge so you will if you're uh, out of the EU like myself you're in the UK you'll need a, uh, a power adapter or likewise if you're in the in the US you'd need a, an adapter for it. Um, radio itself comes with the standard uh, 2 meter 70 sems uh, rubber duck antenna or antenna will essentially work from uh, 137 to 174 and uh, I think 420 to 520 megahertz something like that so uh, you would need a separate antenna for the uh, 1.25 metre band if you want to transmit on there. Uh, look at the back of the radio then, quite a simple little battery on there and uh, belt clip is uh, integral with the uh, battery or clipped into the battery anyway so uh, that just slides in and out of there. The battery itself is a 7.4 volt 2800 milliamp hour battery so uh, you're going to get uh, decent amount of life off that. Like I said you can see the uh, radio claims to be 8 watts and it shows you that uh, frequency range on there. Interestingly the uh, frequency range um, says it will go from 400 to 480 but I have tried this into a dummy load and I say it does actually transmit right up on 520. Probably not all that clean a signal and the uh, output power wasn't particularly high either but um, yeah it does uh, have quite a big uh, transmit range on this one. Like I said, you've got 128 channels there that are programmable and uh, if you use the Biofeng CPS software or something like Chirp, and I'll put a link in the description down below to uh, the software is available for this, then um, you can uh, program it via the software like I say and uh, you can see I've uh, programmed uh, the channel names in there as well. So at the moment it's currently in channel mode. And you'll probably notice I've switched off the beep and the uh, the voice prompts. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know I'm not a fan of the video of the uh, voice prompt or the beep. So that's all been switched off in the menu. But another nice little feature about this is you see the uh, the backlight display there. When it's uh, in standby mode, you kind of get that bluey purple, and you can change that in the settings. You can decide which different colours you want. If we uh, if we transmit M7 FRS test only, and if I push the squelch button you'll see it goes blue uh, when it's received and like I say these are all changeable in the uh, in the menu. So if we want to swap between channel mode and VFO or frequency mode you can see we're currently in channel mode because it's got the channel name displayed there we need to power off the radio, press and hold the menu key 
switch the radio back on and that will then change us to VFO or direct entry mode and we can directly dial a frequency on the numeric keypad or we can use the up and down keys to uh, scroll through the frequencies there. And you can swap between your two VFOs, uh, your top and bottom like most of these uh, radios will, uh, using the A and B button. So uh, the little arrow on the left hand side changes between top and bottom to show which VFO you're in. And uh, let's say to, uh, to swap back to channel mode is the same again. We can switch it off, press and hold the menu key whilst powering on and it'll go back into channel mode again. So let's get this out and uh, test it out in the real world and um, then we'll uh, have a look at doing some power tests as well, see what the output is. M7 FRS Mobile, Mike 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra Mobile, check and access GB3 Whale. Okay, so I've fitted the Shawcom SW33 Plus power and SWR meter onto the uh, top of the handheld here as well as it's going into a, uh, a dummy load and we'll try uh, transmitting on different frequencies or different bands. So initially I'm going to transmit on 433575 which is in the uh, 70 SEMS amateur radio band and uh, I said the radio claims to do 8 watts on the box and then the instruction manual says something different it says 5 watts but um, let's just try it on high power on 70 SEMS initially so uh, you can see it goes uh, red when we're pushing the push to talk and uh, it's saying four point, around about 4.5 watts so about four and a half watts there is what we're uh, what we're getting on on the 70 sems band so let's try that on 1.25 meters and uh, I'm not actually uh, licensed to use 1.25 meters or it's not uh, uh, part of the amateur radio license in the, in the UK here but like I say we are going into a dummy load so we'll do a, just a, a quick test on that um, so we're on 223500 and we'll do the same test again and you can see that is giving us about 4.7 watts uh, into the dummy load on uh, on 1.25 meters so let's change over to uh, 145500 which is the 2 meter calling frequency here in the UK and on 2 meters we're getting 5.7 or 5.74 something like that 5.75 watts so uh, still not quite 8 watts but um, it's not uh, it's not too bad for a little handheld so there you go that's the Bofang BFA 58S just that uh, also in the box it comes with this little uh, headset earpiece as well which you can use and uh, I'll put a link in the description down below to the Banggood website where you can purchase this from as well as a discount code and uh, remember to like, subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video. 7-3.